Welcome to Electron Online. In this video, we're going to try to gain a little bit of understanding of what an integral is and what integration is. Here we have a function written on this graph where we have a relationship between time and velocity. The function is written as v as a function of time is equal to 5 times t. Notice that after one second, if this is a driver standing in front of the red light, the light turns green, the driver pushes on the gas and the car accelerates, you can see that after one second the car is moving at 5 meters per second, after two seconds it's moving at 10 meters per second, after three seconds it's moving at 15 meters per second, and so forth. So the equation v of t is equal to 5 times t represents the velocity of the car as a function of time. All we have to do is plug in a value for t and we get the velocity. If t is equal to 0, we get 0. If t is equal to 1, we get 5. If t is equal to 2, we get 10 and so forth. So the equation tells us how fast the car is moving. What do we get when we take the derivative of the function? The ddt of v of t is the rate of change of the function. In this case, the rate of change of the velocity. So what is dv dt or v prime? It is the acceleration. The rate of change of the velocity is the acceleration. So in this case, the derivative represents the acceleration of the motion. The function v of t represents velocity. The derivative of velocity represents acceleration. Now the question is, what does the integral of the function represent? Hmm. The integral of the function, and we'll see that later, really represents the area underneath this curve. And the area underneath this curve represents how far the vehicle has traveled. So in this case, the integral of a function that's called the velocity of some object, if we take the integral of that, we actually get the distance traveled. So this is equal to the distance traveled. Now, let's go ahead and take the derivative, or in this case, let's take the integral of that function. The integral, that would be the integral of the function, which is 5 times t, 5 times t dt. And again, we have to have this dt there because that came from the derivative. This is equal to 5 times t, add 1 to the exponent, which is now a 2 instead of a 1, divided by the new exponent. So therefore, we can say that this is equal to 5 over 2 t squared, and it represents the distance traveled. If we plug in 0 for t, we get 0. If we try put in 1 for t, we get 2.5 meters. If we plug in a 2 for t, we get 10 meters. If we plug in 3, 3 squared is 9 times 9 times 5 is 45 divided by 2, which is 22 and a half meters. So this equation now represents how far the car travels. The original function tells us how fast it's traveling, and we take the derivative of the function, it tells us how fast it's accelerating. So you can see that integration tells us information about the function. It allows us to go from the derivative back to the original function or starting from the original function we take the integral of that function it tells us something else about the function. In this case it tells us how far, how far the car has traveled. So there's all kinds of examples like that and we'll show you some more to get a better feel of what integration is. So again, the methodology of integration is simply in this case, for a simple function like this, we add one exponent, we add one to the exponent and divide by the new exponent. So in this case, instead of t, we get t to the second power divided by two. And of course, then we get five over two t squared, which then in this case represents how far the car has traveled. And that's how it's done. 